Welcome to El Nido Palawan, the crown jewel of the Philippines. Today we're going to explore why this place is considered to be the most beautiful island in the world. So buckle up and hop on a speedboat with us as we hit up El Nido's most iconic spots including Big Lagoon, Secret Lagoon and many more. We'll show you the crystal clear waters, towering cliffs and stunning beaches that makes this island so unique. Alright guys, let's get this show on the road and see the breathtaking view of El Nido. I don't know if you guys see this right here. There's something on top. It's a little surprise for us later. Okay guys, we're heading on our speedboard tour with the apartments, El Nido, and we have a team taking us out. By the way, I'm Alper and Carlo. Good morning, good morning. And then our handsome boat captain, Prentice Jake Sparrow. Very handsome. Ma good morning, ma'am. Mike, and then assistant, Vincent. Okay, our first destination is uh, Big Lagoon. Approximately, it's uh, 15 minutes. Okay, ma'am, sir, again, good morning. It's saying it's more fun, El Nido, Palawan. All right, guys, our first stop is the Big Lagoon, and wow, this is unreal. What we're gonna do now is rent one of these kayaks here and go through that crystal clear blue water that we see over there. It is spectacular. Oh my gosh, these rocks are huge and they're beautiful. I feel like we're in a movie or something. Big Lagoon. The Big Lagoon. Daddy's paddling and I'm relaxing. Yeah, yeah. I... Thank you. It's so clear. Look at the water. You can see everything. Knox is my teammate today. Look at my baby rowing us. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the water is so shallow and it's so turquoise. Wow. I feel like somebody put turquoise dye in the water. Oh, yep. Wow. Amazing. Whoa, there are so many fish and so many sea urchins. They look like they would hurt if we stepped on them. When you're going and if you go island hopping, make sure to wear some water shoes because of to avoid some rocks or corals. Oh. Lots of sea urchins. Okay guys, we're going in the underground little caves. Whoa. Follow, be careful of your head, be careful of your head. Oh my gosh, this is real. Wow. Look at the water. I feel like I'm in the movies. I believe they've Used a big lagoon for a few Hollywood box office. Jenna, watch your hand. These are very narrow caves, by the way, but it's very oh. beautiful. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna have to set you down, GoPro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This reminds me of a mangrove slash of Vietnam. So it just feels like, I don't know, we're in a movie or something. It's just, a horror movie. It feels, Noxy, really? I was trying to explain my my euphoric feeling of this beautiful, the lake of death. and then this guy's. The lake of death. I think you shouldn't have watched like Death on the Nile. Monsters with my, my, with my, with my chinella. <laughs> So now we left the big lagoon and right around the corner, like literally two minutes, is the small lagoon. So they asked me, why is the big lagoon called the big lagoon and why is the small one called small? Well, because the big lagoon is bigger than the small one. That's a fancy. here at the small lagoon but we're not gonna get out and go kayaking because <laughs> you need a pass to enter and we don't have passes. Melvin is doing this really cool drone shot and he only sees a few people in there. 
but it's all part of Mi Mini Lock Bay. Mini Lock Island. Mini Lock Island. Ah, okay. So the small island, the small lagoon, and Big Lagoon are all part of Mini small Lock lagoon, Island. Big lagoon and also Secret Lagoon is uh, located on this island. And Secret and Secret Lagoon also, the which we're going to be heading. Ah, okay. Same, same. They're all but part same, of the same. same. <laughs> <laughs> different sizes. They're all part of the same island, but they're all different sizes. Got it. So we've made it to Secret Lagoon, which is just around the corner from Big Lagoon, and I'm super excited to explore this hidden gem. To reach it, though, we had to swim through a tiny hole in the limestone wall that separates the lagoon from the sea, and it's only visible during low tide. This must be very secret. We're the only ones here. <laughs> That's funny. Long line to, just to fit through this one hole. such a secret lagoon guys but I don't think it's a secret anymore as we make our way in we are surrounded by these cliffs and it's a stunning contrast to all of the water here it's really pretty and it feels like we've landed in a different world and the water is brackish and it's sweet to make some fresh and salt water and just like the big lagoon this secret lagoon was also in the Bourne Legacy and the Beach movie and we're here right now standing in it so cool Check it out guys, the secret lagoon used to be a cave that collapsed. So you can still see the stalactites over there. It looks like the head of the dragon. No, head of a crocodile, not the dragon. Bye bye, Secret Lagoon. It's been real. Bye bye, Secret Lagoon. Alfer, where are we going to next? Kalmong Island. Kalmong, Kalmong Beach. Kalmong, Kalmong Beach. Beach. Yeah. To eat? Kalmong Beach. To are eat? we going to eat there? Yeah. Yes, we get to eat. Who wants to eat? Me. Let's go. How far is it? Huh? How far is it? Uh, how far? I think 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. Worth it. I need uh -huh. two minutes. Kalmong Beach and it is stunning! We're surrounded by all of this limestone, gorgeous rock. I feel like it's so calming. All I hear are just ocean waves. 
I've been wanting to come here for so long and I just cannot believe we finally made it. I am feeling very thankful and blessed and grateful. And look at the kids are just playing on the sand while we're relaxing, <laughs> having a blast. And the staff at the apartments of El Nido are getting our lunch ready. So not only do we get to relax, but we get to have an incredible lunch with this view. They've even set up this table with chairs and this canopy where we can relax and look at our view. Wow, what a day. Salamat, salamat guys, salamat. Look at this. I don't know how you guys cooked this up right now. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Look at this. So again, we got chicken and pork. We got the fish. Tuna. 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 We got tuna. We got crabs and clams and mussels. We got lobster and shrimp. Of course, rice. You can't have it without rice. We got squid. Eggplant. Eggplant. Salted egg. Salted egg. Oh, I love salted egg. Ah, this is so good. And of course, the cool arrangement. Did you do this? Who did this? You did? You did. Wow. You said chef too. Amazing. Thank you so much. Okay. And you got that. Thank you. Bon appetit. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Knox, what are you having first, buddy? Lobster. Half of a lobster, actually. Yeah. 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 Look at that. You know me. I'm all about my business. No apologies. I run a lot of fitness. Can't believe this moment. I'm free. I'm free. This toil is this lobster is so good, especially with the toil. Um, okay. Oh. Okay. Beautiful. It has like the the toil has like the onion taste, and then like I don't know like uh, onion. You could taste the onion, the calamansi, and the toil. It's amazing. Oh my god. Oh tuna! I can't believe it. Tuna! This. They caught a tuna for us. Look, fresh. I'm gonna dip this in the toyo calamansi. I gotta say, it is better to go on a private tour on a speedboat versus joining a group of people on an outrigger, which is their traditional way of doing it. Not only do you avoid the crowd, you get to actually visit more islands and hidden spots in less time because you're on a speedboat. And plus you get to customize your own schedule and choose which places you wanna see. But the bottom line is that it's more flexible, personalized, and comfortable. You just gotta be willing to pay for it a little bit. There are three options to get to El Nido, one by boat and two by plane. The easiest way is to fly with Air Swift, but the flights are limited. So the other option is to fly to Puerto Princesa Airport, which is about a five and a half hour drive away from here. We did the latter, but also visited one of the seven wonders of nature along the way. So we were able to cross that off our bucket list, making it the long trek well worth it. Now, for our first few days, we're staying at a really cute Airbnb in El Nido town to soak up the local vibe, mingling with the locals and eating all the local foods. The place is called the Apartments of El Nido. Very modern and sleek. I believe it was built in 2019 and it has about 10 suites. So you have a communal space here. You got the uh, nice little cute pool. But you can actually rent out this whole building if you wanted to. Our suite is called the Cathedral Cape, which is very comfortable with the bedrooms upstairs and the living area downstairs. The room tour of the whole our whole house. So this is the kitchen. So we cannot cook here. So we can eat up stuff. Yeah, we can't cook here since the people told us the food is the smell of the food. We can't do it because we can we got, definitely eat. We can stay here. We got some table right here. We got a couch. We have uh, a fridge. And then we also Whoa. and then we also have a TV that's big. And here's one of our favorite parts. Me and Mary are gonna clean this out, and we're gonna make a secret base. In and here. Daddy always complains that he doesn't have enough pillows. Daddy, I don't think we can play anymore. Wow. Now. We're gonna take out all the pillows, and then we're give it going to you, Dad. Okay. Okay. Ooh, this is nice. Oh. 
This is perfect for us. And the coolest part of our stay is that it's right next to the walking zone where all the shops and restaurants are, making it very convenient, especially for families. But the best part of our stay and the most surprising is the staff. Tell me about the oh staff. Oh my gosh. Whoa, I was so overwhelmed. We arrived and there were like 10 of them in their uniform just coming out, grabbing one luggage after another. Hello, how are you? Oh, this is beautiful. They have a full in-house staff that not only keeps the place squeaky clean, but they can also do complimentary laundry. I'm talking like wash and fold. I mean, when we arrived, they took our big bag of dirty laundry and they had it ready for us the very next morning. I was so blown away. I couldn't believe it. Plus, they also act like a concierge. Like they set up this tour. The food, the island hopping, any of the uh, water activities that we wanted to do, like kayaking, it was all set up. Usually with Airbnbs, you're on your own, but this kind of feels more like a hotel. And by the way, the sweetest part is that they have unlimited ice cream. Yes. That's pretty cool. What a nice touch. Look at that. Thank you, Shy. Mmm. That's really good. I don't mind staying there for a few more days. However, our 14th wedding anniversary is coming up. So tomorrow we're staying four days in a very fancy schmancy pool villa at one of the most luxurious resorts located on a private island in El Nido. So make sure to tune in for that. What are these kids doing? What are you guys doing? We need to do one more offering for people. World peace. The people will be treated the same even by the color. No! Yet. And it is really hidden out here. It's so shallow that even in some areas during low tide, it's all sand, no water. How cool is that? But the beach is hidden right behind these rocks with these palm trees just sticking out. It's beautiful. And it's probably no surprise that it is surrounded by all these jagged edge limestone cliffs. Looks like kryptonite. Oh yeah, here's a tip if you guys ever come out here make sure to get water shoes now we don't travel with water shoes but you can easily get them at el nido town and they run about 300 pesos which is what is that six dollars highly recommend because these rocks can be pretty sharp and where are the kids i don't even know where the kids oh they're snorkeling and the kids are having a really good time they're hanging out with our captain mike and they're snorkeling they're seeing all the i can see fish just underneath me right here so i can't imagine what they're seeing over there Did you see anything, Nia? Yeah, we saw a black tube shark. What? Yeah, you know the ones that they're scared of? You know, oh, I should have given you a GoPro. They're a baby, remember the ones that we saw last time? Yeah. And then we also saw uh, Nemo's, lots of them. Oh, so, uh, you, you put your hand Is there out. a lot? Yeah, oh. there's so many. And then, they, it's, it's, and then we saw a, a, a live clam. Oh my goodness. They're so pretty. Hey, Captain Mike. <laughs> So we have made it here to Helicopter Island and I believe they call it Helicopter Island because it is shaped like a helicopter. This beach is so nice. It's like white sand, soft sand. Kids are already playing. We have lucked out because the weather has been so great. Perfect sun, nice cool breeze. It's just like paradise you know when you think of the philippines and island hopping you just hope you get weather like this we have been so so lucky with that back of the helicopter right here what got the front no propeller so it could also pass for like a whale yeah that's true what else can it pass for
so we've got one last stop and I heard that there is a surprise so I cannot wait to find out what it is and I can't wait to see what the kids reactions are this so this is the pool okay now if you guys were wondering how much all of this cost so all this was planned through the apartments of El Nido and we're gonna leave the link below if you guys have any questions Last top, we are going to Ah 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 Lagoon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it's actually called it's, what? It's actually called Kalal Lagoon, which, which means laughter. Song. And so we are going to do that, and then when we are there, we're gonna have a surprise. So stay tuned for that. Ah 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 Ah. Kalal. Ah 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 Ah. The morning was wasted. The afternoon was just passing by. But now here comes the evening And it looks like we're sharing this room, you and I So we have made it to Kadlao Island, guys! Anybody? Nobody? Uh, our last stop! And by the way, this is the highest peak here in El Nido. It's about 640 meters above sea level. And here's another fun fact, there's about 45 islands and 35 of them are islets, uh, which means there's no beach. So we've been to Thailand, uh, Vietnam, and Halong Bay. They all have these limestone uh, jagged edge uh, cliffs, but nothing really compares to the one here in El Nido. These are amazing, they're unreal. Kind of looks like they're from like a uh, Marvel movie. Oh, we found the monkey. Oh, I have banana here. You want? Cousin Mike's here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, don't leave us. All right. You see this dress, you got it. This fits so good, you flung it. How you get so iconic? I see you, babe. Can't wait for later. My favorite flavor. Like a lifesaver. Mmm, can't get enough of you. We are going on a pool in the ocean! Look at that! Jump! <laughs> How cool is that? Oh my god! That is so fun! Best invention ever! Okay, this was such a cool invention. Yeah! I wish I would have thought of it. It's called the sea pool. <laughs> they set it up in the lagoon in El Nido. <laughs> yeah. And, and you then just relax. you just relax. Well, that is an island hopping tour wrap, guys. El Nido is no doubt one of the most beautiful islands in the world. And we can't wait to explore more of its beauty. So there's more El Nido vlogs to come. In the meantime, make sure to click here to check out our last Palawan adventure. Click right here.